the show. Uh, opening night was last night, and if you were here last night, you you realize and you know that they did a fantastic job last night. If you were not here last night, you're in for a wonderful show. Uh, I I want to uh, thank our high school cast uh, for Acts of Danger. Uh, tonight's show is in honor of Ashley, her high school cast, her family. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, they're very excited to perform this show for you so that you can kind of see through their lens the show that you spent so much time building with Ashley. So thank you for being here and they're excited for you to see the show. Uh, I also would like to just let you know that this production, like all of the productions since we started, or since I started with Tyson a few years back, is entirely student run, even the middle school shows. So there are no adults working anything, any, anything in the back behind the scenes. I'll be sitting in the seats with you watching, feeling very calm and relaxed because I know that they've got this and they're going to do wonderful. <laughs> but uh, uh, working our lights, uh, students designed the lights, uh, working our sound, the sets were painted by cast, they designed the set pieces. Uh, Osmar, our student director, come on out, Osmar, whatever side you're on. Osmar is uh, our middle school director for the show. So a lot of the show was seen through Osmar's eyes and he did the blocking and uh, learned how to read through the script and figure out movement on stage. And uh, I'm just super proud of you. You stepped up to the plate and did a wonderful job. He asked for help when he needed help and he took the reins and he took the reins and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. This is a wonderful experience. Uh, Emily down there, your counterpart. Uh, she'll tell you that it's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. So uh, there's a lot of ownership in this show. Uh, we provide opportunity, and the students here has seized that opportunity and have taken ownership of this show. So they're extremely proud of what they have. So please appreciate what they are presenting to you. I know they're excited for you to see the show tonight. I'm gonna let Osmar say say some things. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, my name is Osmar Montalvo. I was first. I would first like to thank all you guys for coming to tonight's show. As the student director, I was responsible ranging, ranging from casting to helping block scenes. Mr. Hyde and Ms. Sinclair and I have been working tirelessly to get to where we ha we are tonight. Working on this show has had its ups and downs, but with our cast and crew members, I would like to thank Mr. Marshall, Mr. Seiler, Ms. Thiessen, Mr. Koziak, and the bus drivers having to drive us here, and I would like to thank our high school crew members who have helped us in every way possible. Now, before we start, I would like to ask you all to please silence all cell phones and no flash photography. Please feel to free to clap and laugh along with the amazing show. I hope you all enjoy it. I told Taylor to call him. A writer? 
he can afford an apartment. No, she said he was staying at the YMCA. Will you see she's had me luck? Sure. Now, as I was saying- Taylor! Don't yell. Sorry. I meant go and get Taylor. Why didn't you say so? Call yourself a director. Are you sure you went to a finishing school? No, I said I was still finishing school. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody screeched for me? That was me. Excuse us a moment. Did you find him? The guy there said he lived here. Last time they saw him, he was running after a bus. Did they say which way the bus was going? I didn't ask. We have to find him. You've explained that at the top of your lungs. I swear, this is the last time I'll deal personally with a live rider. From now on, only dead ones. He makes a little tough to rewrite, huh? Don't help me, Taylor. Wait, isn't that him? Where? Colin? What? <coughs> you know how late you are? Uh, no, I don't have a watch. What happened to it? Popped it. I'm a rider. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop talking to them and get up here? What do you want us to do? Sit down. And shut up. I knew there was more of that. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. How lovely you all look. It is such a delight to have such captivating and knowledge. You do this to me again, and I'll run you over in my hummer. And deadly female. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Write the script. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for your time and patience, and also for helping us decide which play we're going to do. Aha! This one's perfect for you. It's entitled Little Dolly Dumpy. It's about this country western singer with the weight problem. I don't think so. Why not? Our actresses don't want to call attention to their weight problems. Hey! <laughs> no. <laughs> but this one's great. At the end of the first act, she falls into a vat of boiling eggs. <laughs> right, this one, I know you are. It's called Old MacDonald's Farm. I think I know a song we use for the theme. It's about the food chain, what they really put in their secret sauce. I don't know about you, but I could sure go for a burger right now. <laughs> you got anything without so much food in it? Hang on. You have any water? I'm getting thirsty. We got to. I'll just bring the turtles in Artesian Post Fargo. Artesian Wall is Fargo. Yeah, you buy 100 bottles, you get a credit card. Don't you have real water? You know, water with stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? What? Acts of murder? <laughs> Oh, 
Have we decided anything yet? Of course they haven't decided anything, Brady. How could they? Without the fair Delia here to guide them. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been waiting for my arrival. Someone to show you the way. Is that not so? Right, that is not so. Sour grapes. <laughs> You're so upset. I was to triumph for our production of cats. That's also not so. I thought you were the cattiest person on stage. Delia, what was the script? Excuse me, I was talking. Flirting is more like it. <laughs> Shut up, Brady. Is this the play? Colin, what do you think you're doing? Uh, getting a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Not near her you are. Give me that. <laughs> oh, ho! Oh. Saving this for someone else. Is that it? No. Wait, me thinks thou dost protest too much. Me thinks thou dost have enough too much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dear, you're upstaging me. <laughs> What's this play about? Don't open it. <laughs> this sounds perfect for us. Listen to this. A pompous and loud actress, <coughs> well past her time, comes on stage and begins reading a script. That's, That's perfect, perfect for you! Hey! <laughs> it's almost as if the play is describing what we just did. Oh please, that bit of action's in half the theater scripts I've read this year. You won't listen? You won't believe me? No. How about you? How many of you believe the script is haunted? Raise your hand. What? Haunted. <laughs> Dear, I've seen you drop lines before, but that's the first time you've dropped the entire script. See, <laughs> see for yourself, Bonnie. As the director, as the director, what I do and what I say goes. Do I make myself clear? I think someone's very full of herself. <laughs> yes, you can't run here without thinking someone like that. I decide what we do. I decide. You must take us for idiots. I don't know. Anybody needs to make cash. Bonnie. Okay, Colin. I'll call your bluff. What's supposed to happen? It's different every time. The script is different every time. Wait. So now the script changes? They usually do when we perform them. It's a new <laughs> It's an evil play. It takes new places. It creates situations. You... Okay. Well, let's just see. Well, here it says, a character rushes up some stairs. Well, looky here. Here's some stairs. Let's see what happens. Bonnie, no! I rushed up the stairs. I'm at the top. My, my, I'm still alive. Where is the Grim Reaper when you need him? <laughs> and here it says, an axe is found on stage. Well, looky here. Here's an axe. That is a hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> And here it says a character opens a door. Let's try that. At least she can direct herself. <laughs> I'm at the door. Nothing happening here. I look out. Nothing. I step through the door. Nothing happens. I step back through the door and... <laughs> that was a, a coincidence. Phil was probably worth it for life. Phil, what are you doing up there? You could have hurt someone. <laughs> Please scream. Phil, you were over there? No, this is a hologram. I'm actually on the picture of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the... What in the world? I could have gotten hurt just then. I can imagine. Tell us more about the little dolly gun. Yeah, that's how we feel good. Midge, get out here. I don't care what anybody says. No play is haunted. A haunted play. Mwah! Ha 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 Oh, please. I have to go with Bonnie on this one. There's no such thing. What is it? I found that missing lighting instrument. I don't think we can use it, though. Why not? Bonnie broke it. I did not break it. It fell. Wait, it was missing? Now how could it have fallen if it was never hung? If it was never hung, how could it have fallen? I asked you first. Maybe it left through the air in an attempt to murder you. Ooh. Brady, didn't I tell you to shut up? Or maybe that was someone who sounded like me. In either case, shut up! <laughs> now everyone, I don't want to hear any more about curses or ghosts or murder. Do I make myself clear? I'm here on investigation. Here? 
The constabulary has arrived! What sort of investigation? Murder! You're a little early. Can you come back in a half an hour? I beg your pardon? Murder? Here? I got a call and I got sent down. We have to investigate calls of this nature. Can I see some credentials? Certainly. Who called you? They did it. Leave a name. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant? Right, or you can just call me Mike. At least he's on cue. What? Page 23. The police sergeant arrives. Let me see it. Hang on. How come there are names in this? It just says police sergeant. The names always come later. Oh, <laughs> this is a theater, isn't it? Say, he's good. <laughs> the sergeant here says it's been a murder. Ooh, can I knock off early? <laughs> the police sergeant starts questioning What's others about, about a previous death. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is this here? What is going on here? It's happening. Just like it always does. It's beginning all over again. There's been no previous death. Will you people stop <clears> this? But he just said. It's a play. I'm thinking about doing this, this play. Well, maybe not this way. Jeffrey Thatcher! It's Jeffrey Thatcher. <laughs> Jeff Thatcher. That's right. You remember about two years ago now? What's this about this Thatcher guy? You, what's your job? I'm the tech. I do all the technical work around here. Lights. So he won't know anything about that. Phil has only been working for us for just over a month. No, you can't knock off early. <laughs> I thought Thatcher broke his neck in an accident. He did, about two years ago now. Bonnie, you remember? He's found at the bottom of a flight of stairs. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hold on, Phil? What? Who screamed? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't anybody panic. Are you kidding? That's what we do best. <laughs> Phil, you didn't turn on the lights? So I'm right here. What part of that did you not get? <laughs> Lights are back up. Did you have to go to school to learn that? Or are you just naturally <laughs> observant? <laughs> <laughs> Midge, what happens to the lights? I turn them off. What? You scared us half to death. I was not scared. You screamed. <laughs> Vocal warm-ups. <laughs> Midge, what on earth is that? Don't say possessed. Sorry, Bill. That one you should have a fight cord. I wasn't about to unplug it without killing me. Don't say killing! Will you get off me? Where was I? Thatcher. Right, you say his name was? Jeff Thatcher. T H A. I can spell. We was found here the next morning. Although, no one ever did find out what happened though, or why he was even here. He was reading my script. You're a playwright. That's right. Only, I wasn't here. He had taken it, and I didn't know about it until it was too late. I never heard of any of this. Maybe you could come downtown to answer just a few questions. Of course. Sergeant, he's just a writer. And I'm just doing my job, ma'am, Mr. James. Let's go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> it wasn't me. It came from over there. On stage left, next to the the stairs. <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? Who is it? I brought the juice. <laughs> Maybe that was her plan. What's going on here? You all are a bunch of scaredy cats. You really have it out with cats, don't you? Carly, did you turn off the lights? No, <laughs> I just got here. Did you see anyone? Just the guy who sold me the juice. So what did I miss? Ladies and gentlemen, I think in view of all of the confusion, we had better call off this whole thing. We'll reschedule for another time. You really missed it, Darlene. We were reading scripts. And one of which is haunted. Oh, and Mr. Chambers got arrested. He wasn't arrested. He was taken up for questioning. Wait, a haunted script? Oh, which one? Barney, you can't just send these people home. This is a murder investigation. Nobody's been murdered that I know of. Right over there. Acts of murder. Taylor, if the sergeant didn't want anyone to leave, he would have said so. But it may not be safe for them to leave. Will you stop about that? I tell you this is all just a bunch of coincidences. Acts of murder? Yes. It's not here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's not there? I just put it there. Bonnie, it's not here. Will you stop looking at each other like that? It's like you each suspect. Like who suspects what's here? <laughs> <laughs> like we suspect each other of murder? This is so dumb. There hasn't been a murder. As I was saying, let's just close up early tonight. As soon as we can gather our wits about ourselves. Wait, wait, wait. What now? All these people have been watching the whole time, right? Right? Yeah. 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 Did you guys see what happened to that script? No. 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 Mitch? Yeah? Here it is. <laughs> Shoot, I didn't read for that strip. It's part enough for me. Really? It calls for a badly dressed moron? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Just so I got a technical assistant is the first one to get murdered. I always wanted to die on stage. Anybody <laughs> move! <laughs> It's the cop! Sergeant, what are you doing back here? It's that right He got away from me. Okay, everybody look at me. Don't, nobody leave. Did any of you heard anything? That double negative and a whole lot of screaming. Hold on, man, away from you. He also hasn't got that script that you took off. He's out here somewhere. Oops, see him out there, sing out, but don't try to apprehend him yourselves. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Stay here. You. Where's that guy, the one that does lights and stuff? Phil, he went backstage. I'll find him. Wait, call him back with this script? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this with me. We can't let all these people leave. Not until we get this food up. One of them may be the murderer. You out there. Yeah, you. Pointing at you. You can not see me? The one with the phone in front? Yeah. <laughs> Through this. 
but that was two years ago, and it was never proven to be murder. And as far as we know, there hasn't been any murder here tonight. What was that? Somebody knocked. No, somebody knocked. Somebody knocked. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Look at that! Awfully <laughs> polite, entering all oh, hope behind. It's Mitch. See? Somebody. Did you find them? about murderer? No other way backstage. That's right. Hang on, hang on. Who's up there? It's me, Marilou O'Connor. Marilou? Marilou, why are you here? I got a call from down here. What's going on? <laughs> There's been a murder. Oh, I gotta go. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> you say you got a call? Yeah, but nobody said nothing about no murder. Come with me. We're being set up. Haven't I been trying to tell you? All this time? I mean, they bring everybody in here, and now they're killing us all off, one by one. Will you stop? There's only been one murder. Only one? That's not enough for you, darling? <laughs> hang on, hang on. What's your story? Well, my grandparents came from some old country island. Don't you know? My grandpa used to have to sell them. Not that! How is she tied into all this? She used to be a cleaning lady here a couple years ago. In fact, she... She found him. She was the one. I'm the one. I'm the one what? She's the one I found Jeremy Thatcher the next morning. Oh, that. Oh, that. She said, like, she just found a lost dog. You found the body. Yes, we all know that. I told all of you. I told the police at the time I was investigated. Blah, blah, blah. And he was reading this script. Huh? This script. You found an ex's body. Little Dolly Dumpling. No, I think I didn't remember that. No, this one. What? I'm going to burn this thing that kills me. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him. Stop him. Hold it! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm prepared to believe this script is haunted. Can I go now? That millionaire show is coming on. You stay right here. What for? We want to give the killer a fuller menu to choose from. <laughs> There's an explanation. There has to be. I better lock all the doors. Good idea, Phil. Why don't we do it? Why don't we do that during our shows? Get him in here and then lock the doors. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna stay up here and get murdered. Good point. Wait for me. I'm with you. Good. At least somebody is on my side. No, not on your side. By your side. I'm guessing that you would be the last person to get the axe. Why did I phrase it like that? <laughs> I, Brady, I'm with you. Let's just let the police do their job. Yeah, some job. They immediately show up and let one person get murdered and one suspect well, oh. get away. Don't say that. Oh, wait, she has an idea there. What now? Suspect. 
Taylor called Colin a suspect, and I think a very good suspect. Who put all these props here? They're nothing but lethal weapons. Here's a sword, a bottle of poison, there's a dagger. This looks like a game of Clue. And there was an axe. Hatchet. <laughs> Will you stop? And you know what that is now? And a pistol. Bonnie, Colin is the best suspect we have. He's the one who came up with all of this. Hey, right. He's the one telling us this whole haunted script thing. Wait, but if he's the murderer, he's loose in the theater somewhere. You think he could be out here? He could be anywhere. <laughs> Wait for baby! <laughs> Look, Randy is right. About us being scared. No, about us staying out here in the light. If we all just stay here where everyone can see everybody else, then nothing can happen to us. How long do we stay like this? I don't know. When Christmas comes, I am shopping. <laughs> did somebody say there was a pistol here? I did. Why are you asking? There's no pistol here. <laughs> what? We let go of me. Just thinking of you. You people. <laughs> See? Jeez. Who's been in a garlic? Shut up! <laughs> Bonnie? There's no pistol here. You sure you saw a gun on this table? Yes. Everybody who saw a pistol on the table, raise their hands. Come on. One, two, three. I believe you. I mean, now there's a killer loose in the theater and he has a gun. We don't know he's the killer. Everybody who thinks that Colin is the killer, raise their hands. Come on, more hands. <laughs> One, two, three. This is not an election. I don't know about the rest of you, but I have something to say. Unless it's a confession, I don't want to hear it. There is a killer loose in the theater with a pistol. <laughs> what did you expect? Colonel Foster is a conservatory with the lead pipe, but he's in the theater, right? Right. Then I suggest we all leave the theater. <laughs> All in favor? One, two, four. That's it. The theater is all locked up. What? What I say? Get out! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this is 
gone far enough. Folks, I'm gonna have to ask you for a little bit of patience. I've called in reinforcements and they should be arriving here any minute. What are you doing? We're gonna clear the theater out one person at a time. That's good. That's good. Then, when everyone search, we're gonna search the area. I'm leaving first. No, me! Hold on! Hold on! Excuse me! We cannot do anything until the rest of my guys get here. And we have to all leave out the same door. You're going to search every person here? For the gun? Yeah. <laughs> all I wanted was a hostage exam. You said just lay the check, you'll be right out. Okay!
Okay. We all know there's been a murder here tonight, right? Yeah! yeah. Wow. Let's 
go. I'm ready to come through all. This is starting to get my nerves. Starting to get your nerves. What? Did you take a nap? Everybody just settle down. This way, up front, let's go. We don't go all night, you know. I've never been through anything like this. Oh, tell me another one, Daddy. <laughs> About time. Hey, we do our job and we do it right. And we don't work for anything. Sorry, just trying to get this thing wrapped up. Did you find anything? Well, we found the murder weapon. Great, at least we don't have to worry about anybody else getting shot. Maybe we should just keep right on worrying. <laughs> Did you find the gun? We will kill the body. Watch, they're going to try and blame us again. I'm not blaming anybody. Anderson! Yes, sir. Did you find the gun? Not yet, sir. Work on that! Jeez. Please, sir. I'm glad, sir, we took the initiative to clear off all those weapons over there. Now, as I was saying, we were planning on letting you all go. <laughs> well, that was when we were we knew where killer was. Well, that is not the case, and we will have to keep you here a bit longer. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but as I mentioned before, one of you may know something. Um, sir? What? Um, what? <laughs> one question. Any of you clear up that table over there? Do you mean remove the weapons? We're all backstage. Remember? I sure didn't. You mean that now, besides the pistol, all the weapons are missing? Holy cow! What? What is it? I let the drug run. <laughs> But, but my truck. Sit down! <laughs> Hello. You're going outside, right? Yeah. What about? There's a truck out there and the engine's still running. Can you turn it off? Watch. See, we're not be waxing his car. Why don't we give this any respect? Fine. <laughs> sure. Put this in the van. Right. <laughs> now, let's just review the bidding, shall we? <laughs> not again! We've already been through this. Just do what the sergeant says, right? Down, Poindexter. Hang on to this. Yes, sir. And for the rest of you, go back there and do not come back until the murder weapon and all the other loose weapons are found. Right, Sarge. Now, there's been two people murdered. <laughs> Why are you looking at us? I have to look at somebody. They could possibly have been one of us. That's right. Why not? Why not? Because we've all been together and we're going to stay that way. That way, nobody else gets snuffed. Not so <laughs> That's right. What's right? What do you mean? You people are superstitious, aren't you? How do you mean? Well, you know, whistle in the dressing room is because it's bad luck. And when you want to wish somebody good luck, you say, what is it? Break a leg. Uh -huh. <laughs> what about it? It seems to me that they are playing off. Depending on their playing off your superstitions. In what way? With this. You really think it's haunted? I do not think it's haunted. And neither does anybody else. Well, I don't. <laughs> Listen, the writer said that Thatcher guy was murdered while reading the script. And now somehow this ghost is out to murder his killer. And he won't stop killing people until... We know the plot! Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go off the script. <gasps> are you crazy? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at you people. I haven't even read a word. And notice how you're still breathing. I didn't kill that jerk! <laughs> this script doesn't mind. It's an equal opportunity play. <laughs> <laughs> What's your point, Sergeant? That this script has been hearing everything up to this point, right? So let's just... Go off the script. You mean act it out? You're all actors, right? You're all familiar with scripts? Ha! Apparently, he's never seen any of our shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Bonnie, no. Have you lost your mind? He's right. If the killer is in here, we'll find him. The sergeant has now outlined a series of murders for the, for the others on the stage. He then hands the script to the director. It says that? Really? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing it's only a matter of time now, the killer
Or stands nearby. <laughs> all eyes are watching, all ears listening. Then suddenly, the killer is continued onto the next page. Come on. That's what it says. Better just let me. The sergeant grabs the script. Just then, the scream is heard. Nothing happened. It's not always right. Look at you people, you're just letting these superstitions run away. Ah! Look! Look! Who's she? How'd you get that out? Uh, Hatchet? Good. She's here. That is Cassandra Tyree. She is, I called her in. We use sometimes. You must have heard of her. Any kin to Lizzie Borden? <laughs> Wait, I've heard of her. She found that lost boy last year and saw her news. She's a... Right, she was here. She was here to oh. find people and things. I called her in. You think she'll be able to... Shh! Nope, kid, I can't tell midnight their voices. All oh, the noise going on. Just let her work. Ah, oh, my... What? What do you see?
are sent to the other house, you will need protection. For what? Just get them out here! Okay! I say we all make a run for it. And what good would that do? You want to stay here and get murdered. There are policemen here. You want to go outside and get murdered? Where are those policemen? Put that down. 
down. It's just the play. Is more. Is much more. Can't somebody oh, do something? <coughs> Phil! Leaving us here all unprotected. Hey! Phil! It's time. What? Time for end. Time for play for via killer. Time for reading killer. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I can't find anyone. What? <laughs> I 
wouldn't be able to have what I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought into it. How did you say? Tighten the screws. Yeah, but he said, dear, we had to make you all believe the play was evil. Haunted, if you will. We had to smoke you out. We just didn't know which one of you did it. So you see, I couldn't write the last page. How'd you know I'd confess? Right here, right now. We did it. We were prepared to go on if we had to. Sanchez! Photos and hugs and autographs. Thank you. 